arriving to Germany felt like arriving to a party where I didn't know anyone. Except it didn't matter that I didn't know anyone because I had just arrived to a party. Intoxicated by the bright lights and loud music, I danced through the streets of Erlangen, interested and intrigued in anything and everything that I had never seen before. Until two weeks into Germany, I realized what it meant to not know anyone at the party. I was completely alone. Hungover from two weeks of cultural gluttony, I found myself in a state of numbness as the burdens of everyday life weighed down upon me. The honeymoon period was over, and I was in Germany. Looking around, I discovered my room was a total mess, and there was no one to clean it but me. No one to do the laundry but me. No one to wash the dishes but me. No one to go shopping but me. Shopping? Discovering that supermarkets in Germany are closed every Sunday was the first culture shock to pull me from the days of my cultural hangover into a heightened awareness of my surroundings. I began to notice how different I was than those around me, and how little command I had over the cultural and social space of Erlangen. I had to work at it, to take risks, to fail even, in order to finally succeed. Okay, start. I felt like when given the same task as most Germans, I was less prepared to handle it than they were. Having grown up in another country, I had been provided the proper tools to handle the tasks of that country, and now I was using those same tools to try and handle completely different tasks. Naturally, the tools that I was provided in the U.S. were inadequate to completing the tasks posed by Germany. I therefore had to do my best to shape my tools to fit the new tasks that I now faced. And this did not come easy. Having taught myself to navigate the cultural and social space of Erlangen, I could finally return my attention to feeling alone. Being lonely became one of my easiest pastimes, as I found that watching hours of Netflix and eating muesli in my room required literally no effort whatsoever. So, rather than taking the risk of going outside and challenging myself to meet new people and make new friends, I chose the comfortable and easy company of laziness. Mm. me, man. You can't just show up here unannounced. Oh, hope I'm not interrupting your social life. <laughs> my, 
My social life? Come on. I mean, seriously, Brian? Is this really what you call living? Yeah, well, what can I do? I, 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 it's, it's not like back in the U.S. where I just have a good group of friends that I can call up to hang out with whenever I want to. Yeah, but how do you think you made those friends in the first place? How can you expect to be anything other than alone if you won't even put in the time to be anything otherwise? Right. It's that easy. Just put in the time here and I'll make friends? That's ridiculous. And besides, I don't even know where I'd start. It doesn't matter where you start, Brian. It matters that you start. If you really want to make some friends, get up and make them. If you really want to, you know, experience something new, get up and experience it. Join some clubs, you know. Go to the park. I don't know. Find some activities where you'll be surrounded by people constantly. At the very least, it'll be better for you than sitting around in your apartment all day. <laughs> okay, okay. I get it. You know, I've been lazy. I have. I should go out more. Look, tomorrow I'll wake up early and I'll go down no, to the gym. No, The worst change starts tomorrow, the best starts today. Get up and go now. Go now? Where would I even go and... I mean, how do I even know it would work? I don't know, and neither will you if you never try. First thing you gotta do is show up, and then you'll figure out the rest as you get there. Now, let's go, Brian, go! Less motion, more action, All right? right? Okay, okay, I'll go. Let's go! The last six months haven't been easy, and at times it felt more like a learn to live on your own experience rather than a study abroad experience. But what an experience it has been. I've been personally challenged in ways I never thought I would be. I learned to navigate a new culture and how to speak its language. I've met some amazing friends and established meaningful relationships that I sincerely believe will last a lifetime. I don't feel alone anymore. I feel happy. And I was happy. Truly, truly happy. I finally knew people at the party that I had been at all along. But in that moment, walking through the park, I hadn't even the slightest idea that the next thing to come would be the greatest challenge of my life. The greatest challenge of my life? That's right, Brian. Your six months are up. It's time to go home. No! <laughs>